I've been dreading making this video right here, but I'm finally gonna do it. Everybody's been asking me to show a video of how I polish my parts and stuff like that. So, I happen to get a couple of scratches on my intake manifold, and I never really polished the underside of it because you don't really see it. So I figured it's a good time for me to show you guys the actual process that I do when I polish all my parts. Now for me, when I do my polishing, I usually start with a 180 grit, then move up to 320, then I get a little bit lazy, and I do an 800 grit. And I do all this all by hand on the manifold or whatever I'm polishing. And then from here, I go up to 1,000 or 1,500, and then I like wet sand with 1,000 or 15. And then after that, you use the polishing compound, buff it off, and then I usually do the polishing compound like two or three times. And then after that, it usually has a pretty good mirror shine at that point. For parts like this, the little K-Tune badge or whatever, I try not to sand too deep into it because if you do, then you're basically just gonna sand the whole word away. So I just do a, a quick a quick sanding over the top of this. I don't go that far down with it. And then it'll still polish up pretty nicely though. So one thing I failed to mention is how long it takes to actually polish this stuff up. I stopped after the first stage now. This is all just sanded down to that uh, 120 grit all by hand. I left a couple of spots unfinished so you can see the difference. Like the runners, I haven't touched those yet. So you can see how it gets. And yes, everything does look this ugly before you get to the polishing stage. So all you're really going to do is just go over it again the same way with all those other grits of sandpaper until you finally get to the wet sanding and get that thing smoothed out. All right, for the people who usually have like a smart comment or something like that, just try to talk shit on the channel. Uh, the reason I have these parts 
non sanded is because these are the CNC parts. I'm leaving all of those raw and then I'll just polish straight with nothing but compound so you can see how that works as well. All right, so now the manifold is down to 320 grit. And you can already see how it's starting to shine up. So right now I haven't even hit it with the 800 grit yet, but it looks all scratched up, but you can already see it's starting to get a little bit of a mirror image to it. So as I sand it down a couple more levels, it'll get better and better, and then the polish will just really bring it out. After like countless hours of sanding, I'm finally to the point where I'm about to polish this thing up. I mean, it really doesn't look like much at, at this stage, but after you put the polish on, like a couple of coats of it, and then it really starts to shine. What I use is this Blue Magic polishing cream right here. All you do is just rub it in until it turns black, and then you buff it off, and that's it. Now at this point, once everything's all black and looking worse than ever, and seeming like you're not really getting anywhere with this thing, this is the point where you wanna buff it off, and that's when the shine starts to finally come through. One thing to keep in mind, when I use this polish, I usually do like three or four coats of it. And it's like, the more you use it, the, the better the shine gets. So I don't know, like expect the first time I buff it off for it to come out looking perfect. So just kind of expect that. And just like with paint, and just like paint work, with the better prep you do, the better your polish will come out. So this is after the first pass of polish. You can see my reflection in the runners a little bit. It's a little bit dull at first, but that's just how it starts off. The more coats you do, the better the shine gets. So you can see it's already coming through. All right, now this is what it's like after the second pass of polish. Only did the plenum right up here on the top. And you can already see the reflection is much better than it was before. Still a little bit of hazing and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm gonna add several more coats of this stuff until I get it shining the way I want. So this part of the plenum has a second coat on it and this is still from the first coat. So here's the reflection up there compared to this. It's very dull. And that's only one extra coat more. So you can see how much better it gets with every pass. And that's how I polish. I'm sure somebody have a comment about the way that I polished it up and that I could have done such and such to try to get more of a mirror polish finish or whatever, or like a chrome finish. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not trying to show you guys how to polish everything. I'm showing you guys how I polish my stuff. 
and I don't want it to have a chrome finish. I just want it to look polished and more shiny to match the rest of the stuff in my bay. If I actually wanted it chrome looking, I would just have it chrome. If anything, I'm probably gonna finish polishing up this thing tomorrow. I've been working on this thing since like six o'clock today and it's like three in the morning right now. So, it takes a lot of work to do this, but in the end, I think it's worth it. That's why I tend to do this in my free time or when I can't afford other parts, like now. Just polish it up, just make the things that you have a little bit better, you know? Just put a little bit more effort into your car. So, see you in the next one.